26, verses 1 and 16. Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And it came to pass at the seventh time, when the priests blew with the trumpets, Joshua said unto the people, Shout, for the Lord hath given you the city. Two thousand years later, another leader whose name is Jesus Christ will shout. However, his shout will not be due to the taking of a city. His shout will be from the cross on which he was nailed. His shout will be for the emancipation of every man, woman, boy, and girl of every nation. These are the people who fought for freedom. Abraham Lincoln, Harriet Tubman, Frederick Douglass, Martin Luther King, Cesar Chavez, Gandhi. Brothers and sisters, I submit to you today that before there was a Martin Luther King, before there was a Malcolm X, also before there was a Harriet Tubman or a Nat Turner, there was a Hebrew nation called Israel. A nation who were bound and enslaved to an Egyptian people during a time period of 1526 BC when tapestries and intricate clocks were being developed in Egypt. God heard the cry of freedom for this nation and sent a prophet named Moses to deliver the Hebrew people from their bondage. About 4,000 plus years later, God in his sovereignty sent us yet another Moses, a man who was more than a civil rights leader, but a prophet named Martin Luther King Jr. Just as Moses climbed Pisphus Peak and beheld the land promised, Dr. King declared himself, I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but we as, as a people would get there. He shouted freedom not only for the bound African-American, but for the enslaved Caucasian. Of his psychological yoke of bigotry, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and other advocates, they shouted freedom. Dr. King shouted freedom for every race, tribe, creed, and to the othermost parts of the earth. So today, I sound the alarm as a trumpet from Africa to Australia. I declare your liberty. From Asia to Antarctic, I declare your liberty. From North America to South America and also Europe, I declare your liberty. This day we raise a shout of freedom for the people. Uh, yes, TV viewers around the world. I'm glad you're here with me, and I need you to turn to the book of Joshua, chapter 6, verses 7 through 8. If you would, just turn, turn to the book of Joshua, chapter 6, verses 7 through 8. And it says, as we read, And he said unto the people, Pass on, and compass the city, and let him that is armed uh, pass before the ark of the Lord. And it came to pass, when Joshua had spoken unto the people, that the seven priests bearing the seven trumpets of ram's horns, it passed on before the Lord and blew with the trumpets. And the ark of the covenant of the Lord followed them. Yes, you should be able to hear, you can almost hear, hear the trumpets sound as they're marching all around the walls. The 
trumpets kept on sounding and sounding. They kept on marching, kept on, kept on marching. They were instructed to keep on. Bondage, bondage, oh yes. Bondage is our walls. No money, no food. Homes tumbling, coming down. But we need to shout freedom, shout freedom for the people. Uh, they kept on marching all around the walls of Jericho. They shouted as the trumpets were playing. Shout freedom for the people. Because they knew that one day, ah, uh, my brothers and my sisters, even on TV, they knew that one day, they would be free. They're going to shout freedom for the people. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. What's all this talk about people wanting to be free? Our people been in slavery ever since the biblical days. They say they want to be treated like people. People with standards. Getting married, having children, getting on homes. Now they want to have businesses. I ain't signing no papers. I can see them now. They're going, calling out to their Jesus. Going, oh, help us, Lord. Help us, God. <laughs> Lord, help us. Thoughts cloudy, your third eye's blind. This ball, 
Native American political prisoner, Leonard Peltier, and tribes like the Brotherton Indians of Wisconsin are refused their rights by the U.S. government. If one of us is chained, we are not free. Well, you better listen, my sisters and brothers, because if you do, you can hear there are voices still calling across the and they're all crying across the ocean And they're crying across the land And they will to we all come to understand None of us are free None of us are free None of us are free One of us has changed None of us are free And there are people still in darkness can't see the light. If you don't say it's wrong, then that says it's right. We got to try to feel for each other. Let our brothers know that we care. We got to get the message. Send it out loud and clear. Thank you. 